this video I will suggest you an order for the operation of image processing with Cyril. Indeed, uh, some processing are done on a linear image and others, such as stretching the histogram, will destroy this linearity. The following processing is only a proposal for scheduling the operations. It's up to you to choose um, your own process uh, depending on the case. First, the pre-processing on the right, you can see a graph that shows the load of the processor cores. I use the script OSC pre-processing, which is used in the case of uh, image processing from a color sensor here at the seller. The first task to do is to crop your image to eliminate the tracking errors of the mount. The black area can cause problems with some algorithms. Then, if needed, we can remove the gradient from the sky background. Here, it's not necessary. Another step is the color calibration. If you have RGB images taken without additional visible light filter, you can use the photometric color calibration. It must be done with linear images, otherwise you will have to use the manual color calibration. You can, if you wish, also remove the ring noise, but that should not um, be necessary uh, with a photometric color calibration. Note that at this step we'll always have a linear image. No, we are going to use the deconvolution function when it's necessary, because the algorithm works best with a linear image. It's better to apply it after the photometric color correction if used. Now we are going to perform the operation that will break the linearity of the image. To publish the image, to or be able to open in another software, the histogram must be stretched. There are several tools in Cyril to achieve this. This example is a process proposal. It's up to you to define your own according to the images and your preferences. 
a final operation could be to adjust the color saturation. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to visit our GitLab, our forum, or our website for more information. You can also support us if you wish. You will find the links in comments. See you soon for the next video.